Let's get a custom creative mode tab going for 117.1. Let's see how to do that. Right, so setting up your own creative mode tab is actually fairly straightforward. We only need one class and then we also change the blocks and the items. So in your item package, right click new Java class and this is going to be the mod creative mode tab written like that. And there we simply add a new creative tab. So public static final creative mode tab. There you go. So auto completing that with tab. This is going to be the tutorial underscore tab, which is equal to a new creative mode tab. And once again, the suggestion there, we can complete that by pressing tab. And then we have to add a semicolon here at the very end. And then in here, we have to add a label. So simply put in the quotation marks. And then this label here appears automatically. So this is generated automatically. And inside of the string here, we're going to put in tutorial mod tab. And this is later important for us for the translation. So when you hover over the tab, that it actually displays something proper. Now here, it currently returns null. Now we actually want to return a new item stack and then we simply pass in mod items .titanium ingot .get. This will then make the icon appear as our titanium ingot. Now crazily enough that's actually all that you need to add a new creative mode tab. If you want multiple creative mode tabs you can basically simply copy this over of course and name this something different and also get a different label here and then you can also change the icon. That is basically how you would add a second creative mode tab as well. Now if we go into the mod items here we can simply change the tab that we've passing in here to mod creative mode tab dot tutorial tab and as you can see that works totally fine so we can simply copy that over for all three of our items here and as you can see it all works so those are now being displayed in our custom creative mode tab now for the blocks this is a little more complicated and what i'm actually going to do because a few people have had some issues with that and they don't really quite know how to implement this this is sort of once again a thing where some java knowledge really is not only preferable but almost uh, required because we can basically just add two of these methods so we can basically copy both of those methods and we will paste them in with the same name so now we have one register block method and one register block item method that are just normal where we basically just pass in for example the mod creative mode tab dot tutorial tab so down here we have those two and then the other two we're actually going to make a creative mode tab parameter here so this is going to be tab and then we're going to set this right here and then in here we're basically making the same parameter this is the creative mode tab tab parameter and then we'll pass this in right here and now we have two different block methods and two different block item methods one where the creative tab is already determined with this tutorial tab right here and then one where you can basically choose this so inside of here where we have the new block we call the register block method we can now add the creative mode tab so as you can see there are two different versions of the same method this is what's called method overloading it is a fairly straightforward and simple thing in java this is why i say that java is definitely a requirement for good modding so now we can basically say okay here you know what the titanium block actually i want that somewhere completely different i actually want that under creative mode tab and then i want that under materials for example and then the other one we're going to keep like this so now the or is going to be under our tutorial tab and then the titanium block is under the tab materials right i, I wanted to show you that as well because in the previous tutorials a few people have had some issues with choosing what tab the blocks go into and that's why i wanted to show this right and last but not least let's add the translation here so we can simply copy over this line and then we're going to change this so this is item group dot tutorial mod tab so this is the way that that works and this is tutorial tab so the translation here as you can see is a bit different from the other stuff this is simply item group dot tutorial mod tab so tutorial mod tab, tab is of course the label we've passed in here and then item group is simply the first word here with a lowercase i and an uppercase g so that is all that you need and after having added all of that let's see if it works all right we found us back in minecraft and this is actually a very good sign we have a second page here and there it is the tutorial tab with the titanium ingot as its icon and as you can see the titanium block is not in here is still under miscellaneous down here as you can see that is a very easy way to basically pick where the blocks go and the items go as well right and that would already be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would of course appreciate a like and i will see you in the next tutorial so yeah 